What's going on, everybody? This is Andy. I'm here with your Sunday AFC Championship bets. I'm not going to lie. Starting to get that sad feeling like, is it coming to an end? After this, yes, we have the Super Bowl and we have the two weeks in between where you're going to hear all this assortment of bets. Maybe I want to do one of those blue Gatorade things. I want, you know what? Maybe I'll do that. I'm going to tell the guys at Odd Shopper, hey, can I just do a video called. Oh, we know the Andy conspiracy theory bets. I'm going to be bringing up. I'm just making this up. I don't know if I'm going to do it. Really, what I'm trying to say is not too much time left. I've had a great time this season with all y'all folks, especially the people who tell me to stick to hockey. They're my favorite. Obviously, I only do hockey and football because those are the only sports I can sniff. All the other sports, they're too far in the distance. You know how they say, oh, well, a bear can smell you from five miles away. Well, the NBA and that stuff, that's over five miles away from me. And I would walk five miles to sniff. <laughs> no, but I'm not kidding. I really have enjoyed this full season of NFL betting slash sniffing. I feel like I kept you off a bunch of rats, put you on to a couple of sniffs, and hopefully I saved two of my best Sundays for last. We got this conference championship Sunday along with Super Bowl Sunday. And how are we going to start it? Exactly how you thought we were going to start it with the DraftKings Sportsbook promotion. You bet $5 on any of these bets I'm about to give you. Anything you want to bet, $5, you'll get $200 in free bet credits in your DraftKings Sportsbook account. As long as you're a new user, you're over the age of 21, and you're located in an area where sports betting is permitted. Also, you know, if you got a problem, don't feel bad about it. Do you know how many problems I have? It's just not so much in the sports betting department, but I got a whole Santa Claus list of problems, but it's just, it just doesn't happen to be gambling. If it was gambling, I would call 1-800-GAMBLER. So if you have a problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. And if you don't have a problem, how about we start with some of those bets? And I know what you're thinking. Oh, here he is. This guy, he's just copy paste, roll it over to the next week. He wants the Isaiah Pacheco, right? He's going to give us, oh, they're not bumping up Isaiah Pacheco's yard. So, you know, I got to take the over again. No. No, I'm not taking the over on Isaiah Pacheco rushing yards simply because I saw that it was listed as one of the most bet props at the sports book. And my uncle used to tell me rats don't live on ice, so don't worry too much about uh, favorites in the NHL and too many people betting them. Rats don't live on ice, but they certainly live on the grass and on the turf. And I just don't like the fact that this is one of the most heavily bet props. Maybe it's because of you guys. Maybe we've been smacking that bet since week 15 so many times and hitting that the people are like, all right, you know, this Andy guy, maybe I don't trust all his sniffs, but this damn Pacheco sniff keeps hitting. I'm staying away. This is the one time you're not going to hear me say take the over on Isaiah Pacheco. But if you want, there is still one over that I do like. And you guys know what I'm talking about. The over on his receiving. If you want to know what I'm talking about, go to last week's video. And if you look at his last eight games of the season, he hit the over. He hit over 10 on all of them. They put this at six and a half. Now, last week, he hit the over until it was challenged, and then he hit the he didn't hit the over. It went under. He got over seven and a half, then they pulled two yards off of it, and whatever, it didn't hit, but that's not going to deter me from taking it. They got the total at six and a half. If you think that Mahomes' ankle is not going to be at 100%, and you think there's more of a chance of him dumping a few off, then I would like this bet even more. But speaking of that, speaking of Patrick Mahomes, that might be my favorite particular bet on this slate, the Patrick Mahomes over on passing yards. I can give you all those, oh, you know how motivated he is. They lost three in a row. The chief people sleeping on the Chiefs. Everyone was taking the Bengals, and he's walking around press conferences, jogging in practice. This is going to be all Mahomes all the time. Now, look. We don't know exactly how the ankle is going to be. Sure, you can walk, you can walk, you can do a fake jog, but I think that's a little bit different than running away from a defensive line. However, I saw that earlier in the week, one of the most bet props was not only the over on Pacheco rushing, but the under on Mahomes passing. The way I looked at it and I tweeted this out, if you tell me somebody's ankle is going to be limited, I'm going to take the over on passing. I don't get how that equates to taking the under on passing. So he's going to stay in the pocket. Oh, clearly that means uh, he's going to pass less. No, that's going to be going to pass more. Unless I guess everyone's thinking, oh, they're going to Andy Reid. He's going to just 
play it safe and run the... They didn't even do that last week when he couldn't move at all. He threw another touchdown in the second half. I love me some over on Patrick Mahomes passing yards. Now, this one comes in from... You know, when I say reliable source, it just means somebody I mostly trust. I'm not I'm not talking about, you know, I, I have an insider over at the Chiefs camp. I'm passing this along as a favor. I haven't done this all year, but I, I kind of agree with this. You know how to keep a defense honest, like you saw this the first time the Bengals played Buffalo. The first thing that Joe Burrow did was take a deep shot to let them know, oh, no, no, Chase is going to take you deep. And it ended up resulting in a pass interference flag. I think Mahomes, and I haven't even seen the total on this, I bet you he runs one for 10 yards to send a signal. Oh, oh, you think you're not going to have to put a spy on me? You think you're not, you're not going to have to worry about me rushing? I think he's going to make it a point to run the ball once or twice just to put in there, even if the ankle's not all right. Put some of that stuff in there and run for 12, and then that's going to have to keep them honest and respect the potential um you know, rushing threat from Mahomes. I understand he probably does have a gimpy high ankle sprain, but something tells me it's a friend sniff. You know, one of his nostrils and one of my nostrils both sniff this. And I, you know what's telling? They haven't listed that rushing total for the majority of the week. I bet you it might be there now. But anything around, if it's nine and a half, I'm taking the over. So the sniff over on Patrick Mahomes rushing, if you can happen to find it, they might not list it at all because it's just not worth it, being that you don't know the exact case of that particular ankle. But I will take the over on Mahomes passing and rushing. Then on the other side of the ball, part of the reason that I took A.J. Brown in the Eagles game, I mean, I took him for longest reception, but I even would have taken him for uh, over on receiving yards, is... Last week, Smith game. I think this week, A.J. Brown game. A lot of Jamar Chase last week. I think you're getting some T. Higgins this week. Don't forget how good T. Higgins is. And they say this every broadcast. He's good enough to be a number one receiver on most teams. When Chase missed time, do you know how many games they lost? Oh, yes, zero. Because T. Higgins was relied upon. And I know he even got a little dinged up. But T. Higgins is as good as they get. And he... You know, a little bit of down, little down week for him there. But I mean, not even really. It was a weird, crusty game in Buffalo with a ton of snow. I like the over on T. Higgins receiving yards. And I like it quite a bit because, I mean, this is the Gabe Davis situation where they push, push the number so low. It's like, oh, well, we got to take that. Except he's a hell of a lot better than Gabe Davis. We're getting Gabe Davis numbers with better than Gabe Davis talent. That one's right up there amongst my favorites. I also will take the under on Jamar Chase receptions. It's just too high for me. I'm also going to do that for Kelsey, although I would not be angry if you're like, well, I'm going to keep the, I'm not betting on any sort of unders in this game. But those two reception totals, it's just the classic. It's the opposite of somebody had a bad week and now I'm expecting a bounce back. They had massive weeks and now I'm not that guy who likes to double down thinking a follow-up is going to come because what happens what happens the other team reviews the tape and they try to make sure that that isn't what beats them so I'm going to take the under on Kelsey not to mention he had this random weird injury throughout the week we'll see how much that actually plays uh, a role into this game same type of thing with Jamar Chase we know how good he is but you know they have so many weapons over there asking for that many catches is just a little too much I'll take the under reception totals on both of those players then I got a couple of temptation, feel the temptation. You got that? Good temptation. And that's going to be the over on Juju Smith-Schuster receiving yards. I get it. I get it. I get it. That didn't come through for us last week, but I am going to go back to it for those aforementioned reasons that I think they're going to pay a ton of attention to Kelsey. He still works that middle of the field. And I mean, th they brought this number down to now we're under 50. And if I do think Mahomes is going to go over on receiving, unless you think it's all coming through Scanling and McKinnon and stuff like that, Juju Smith-Schuster is going to have to go over. So if I'm going to be right about one, it's pretty likely I'm going to have to be right about the other. I'm going to take the over on Juju Smith-Schuster receiving yards. And then I'm very tempted to take the over on both Joe Mixon rushing and Joe Mixon receiving. I don't know what the hell that offensive line was doing last week, but they just bulldozed the Buffalo Bills. He was running at will behind that line. And I'm very tempted to take the over on Joe Mixon rushing and Joe Mixon receiving because it still goes, like if this is a backup offensive line, for the most part, on the road, you want to get the ball out of Burrow's hands. And 
honestly, if you look at all of Burrow's throws last week, they were right out of his hand, right out of his hand. He was never holding on to it too long. And in those type of situations, you're going to run a couple design screens. And I know P. Ryan gets a lot of catches out of the backfield, but this total isn't too jacked up that it's, you know, unattainable. It's like 22 or something like that. So I would feel comfortable taking the over on both rushing and receiving. But if you're like, listen, I don't want to put that many on Mixon, then just take the rushing and receiving total and take the over on that. And that is what I got for you here for this AFC Championship game. Should be a great Sunday. These are two fantastic matchups. No scam teams anymore. You know, you got real teams playing for real prizes, and I am looking forward to it. Once again, I want to thank you guys for being here all season long. It's been my pleasure to make you laugh, give you a couple sniffs, <laughs> point out a couple rats. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the Odd Shopper channel here. You know, obviously, we got that NHL content rolling out there. And if you're an NFL fan and you refuse to watch the NHL, one thing that I can tell you and most of the people on this channel can tell you, a lot of them didn't like the NHL at first. Now they can tell you everything about the Minnesota Wild. Why? Because the Wild are green and so are their pockets after listening to some of my bets. So make sure you stay here on the Odd Shopper channel. Subscribe and come follow me on social media. Like over the weekend, I, uh, I didn't have time really, but I just gave a couple picks on one of my Instagram stories. They both hit and people are happy. So make sure you follow me on there. It's at Andy Francis, the same way you see it spelled on the bottom left portion of your screen. I will be back with you, obviously, before the Super Bowl, but we got plenty of time until then. So if you want to see me until then, head over to some of those NHL videos. They'll be a plenty. <laughs> All right, everyone, take it easy. I will talk to you soon. Good luck to you. Better luck to me.